Hello, I'm Jill from Mid Ulster Council, and today we have a lovely Pilates session. Now, this would be your introduction Pilates session. I'm not going to say it's going to be super easy, there's going to be some things that you might find a little difficult, okay? But I want you to do what you can and work to your own pace. If you find there was something a little bit hard or a little bit niggly, you can make it easier or you can leave it out. But today we're really going to focus on that spine mobility and loosening up because a lot of us are in front of the TV or computer or the phone and our back is very tight. So we're going to concentrate on loosening it up. So we're going to go into the nice warm up. So I want you to stand up nice and tall, put one hand in front, pull those tummy muscles in. So we want to feel that navel to spine. You want to imagine there's a magic string from that belly button to the back and we're pulling it up. Okay. So when we got it, when we got it here, we're going to lift an arm up, big stretch up and down. Breathing in and out. Keep your breathing nice and slow, slow and controlled. Change over. Same again. Lift up. Breathe. Sit. We'll do one more and then we're going to do double arms. Breathe in and out. Keeping the tummy muscles on as long as we can. Okay, we're going to try and remember them. Now, take them up and take them to the sides. Okay, we're going to dive down to that belly button and open up. Breathe in and out. And a nice big open. Stretch those arms out, releasing the tension in the shoulders. Okay, so let's come up. We're going to give the shoulders a nice roll back. Okay, keep them steady. Imagine you've got two glasses full. Okay, water, of course. And the other way. Good. We do not want to spill a drop. Okay, let's take the tension out of the shoulders, bring them up and down. Up and down. Bring them up, we're going to roll them back. So up, roll back. That's it. Breathe as well. Okay, lovely. Let's go on to our hips. Nice, we roll with our hips. One way, and then we're going to go the other. Okay, now stand up nice and tall. Really feel yourself being pulled up. We're going to open one hip out, bring it back in, then the other. So open up. Okay, so that magic string attached to the crown of your head. Stay nice and tall. Okay. That's it. If you're like me, a little shorty, you need the extra length as much as possible. Okay. Lovely. Okay, we're going down into the knees and a nice roll with the knees. So we're going to roll them one way and then we're going to roll the other. Okay. Now, up on the toes and down. Give the hands a nice wee roll. So lifting those heels up and we go the other way. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, that is our warm up done. We're gonna go into our main body of our exercise. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our roll down. Now I'm gonna give you a little warning now. So if you find that there's something that's a little niggly, if something you can't do, remember you take it at your own pace, you do what you can, okay? We're gonna build up and we're gonna get stronger from within. Okay, so what I want you to do is you're gonna stand up nice and tall, our tummy muscles are switched on, and all we're gonna do is a nice roll down. I want you to imagine you've got an orange and you're gonna hold it and you're gonna roll down piece by piece, link by link, as if you're dropping the links of a chain. Now, you just go wherever you can. Some people will be able to go to the ground, some people will just go to the knees. It's up to you. Again, breathe in and on that out breath, you just roll it down. Now, just check your feet, your alignment. Your knees are in line with your feet, so one's not turning out. Now, nice and slow. Keep your hands close into the body, piece by piece. And the head is the very last thing to come up. We go again, roll it down. Nice and slow. And we're gonna come back up. We're gonna do one more piece by piece. Think about that spine. Now it might take a wee while just to get into that movement because the spine might be a little bit tighter than maybe normal. Okay. Now from here, I just want you to catch the toes, calves, wherever you can. Let the head drop, let the length of the neck. So you get that stretch in the back of the neck as well. Good. Give me a nice bend with the knees. Give yourself a little hug. Might as well give yourself a little hug. Can't hug anybody else. 
out. You might as well give yourself a hug. That's it. Now, slowly bend, and we're going to bring ourselves down to the ground. Okay. Now we're just going to do a quick stretch, and then we're going to go into the, the rest of the exercises. So I want you just to bring feet in, crisscross, one about to us. Okay. Wherever you can get to now. Nice and slow, kind of lean forward. Now that might look different from you than to me, okay? So it's where you feel comfortable, okay? So maybe the feet aren't exactly together, or maybe one knee's higher, that's fine. So reach down, okay? And just let the knees, plant the knees. Good, okay, we're gonna bring those legs in. Now we're gonna start up with our roll up, okay? So. I want you nice and tall. Make sure there's nothing behind you. Okay, so you might just shimmy yourself up. Okay, go and take your hands. You're gonna go piece by piece, link by link, nice and slow down. Now, I want you to bring yourself up, but I don't want that jerky movement, okay? So if you need to, use that elbow to bring yourself up. Take your hands up nice and high. So here we go again, piece by piece. We're gonna try and keep those ankles together as much as we can. Good, control, lifting yourself up, okay? If you need to move yourself, shimmy yourself down. And again, just roll it down. Think of the length of the chain. Too often we think of our back as one piece. We need to sort of think of it as all those little individual pieces and move and flow with it, okay? Good. And a lovely little thing about these roll-ups, they're supposed to be equivalent to six crunches. So I'm not too sure how many we've done now, but that's it, roll it down. Good. And up, and we're gonna stretch up. I'm gonna stay up, lift it up, bring it up, bring those feet in, okay? So the point, toes are pointing up. We're gonna do a nice little forward fold down. Breathe, feel that lovely stretch at the back up the leg, yay, okay, so we're bringing ourselves down into the mat, okay, okay, so I want you to imprint your back into the ground, imagine you're lying in sand, it's a warm, sunny day, okay, so you want to really imprint your back into the ground, so if you get up, you will see every uh, vertebrae in your back, taking the legs up, okay, we're going for a single leg, so what I want you to do, you're going to drop one leg at a time. We start off with our head down. Now, this can be a small movement. So it can be here, okay? A slight point in the toes, good. If you want to make this harder, you can lift the head up, work in those tummy muscles. Now, you are catching behind that leg, okay? So it can be here can be the calf, can be the toe. If you catch the knee, you can see I'm already shortening that stretch. So this is a beautiful one for our hamstrings, our legs, but it's also going to work the lower core muscles. Okay, so from that belly button down, you can feel that into the hips as well. Good. That's it, lovely. Now you can adjust this so we can bring our toes slightly towards us, just for a little variation. If the neck is getting sore, you put the head on the ground, you're just dropping and lower. Drop and lower, now it does not have to be that big movement. What you need to be careful of, there's no arch in that back, okay? So if you find my back is arching, you simply make it smaller, okay? You really wanna think about that belly button pushed into the ground, okay? Now, some people will have a natural curvature in the spine. So if you need to, you can put a towel or a cushion underneath. Two, one, okay. Bring yourself up, sitting up. Take the legs out, okay. Now, your toes are pointing slightly towards you. You're gonna take your hands out and your thumbs up, okay. So we're gonna reach down. Now this is gonna really help with those hamstrings you should also feel that in the hips and any twisting movement is going to work the side. So that is a, an added bonus as well. Loosening up the shoulders. This is so lovely. Now again, you can be here. 
spine. I want you some nice flowing movement. We're not rushing it. We're taking it slow, breathing all the time. And each time as we move through the movement, see if you can go a little bit further. Okay, keeping our thumb up, the back hand stays up. Okay, that's it. And reach it down, reach it down. Try and keep them up as much as you can. I know my arms are slightly dropping down, so I just have to readjust myself. So not everything's going to be absolutely perfect. We're going to try and keep it as, as much as we can. Breathe. Lovely. Give me one more. Just to even ourselves out. That's it. Okay. I want you to interlock your hands. You're just going to roll over. Big stretch. And up. As if you're all rolling over a beach ball. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna bring our legs in. We're gonna go back down to that mat. So we're gonna do our double legs this time. Okay, so again, you still remember your body alignment, okay? So the tummy muscles are pushed into the ground. Okay, shoulders are down, your imprint in that spine, navel pulled in. We're gonna take one leg up and two. Now, the double legs are a little tougher, okay? So you can drop one leg, then the other, okay? So it's up to you where you go, okay? We'll all start off a little bit easier, okay? So not a big movement, drop, drop, okay? That's it, lovely, drop, drop, good, three. Doesn't take long for those to work. Once you lift the head up, you're making the tummy muscles work a little bit more, okay? You might feel mine already start to shake, okay? So if you want, you can make it a little bit lower, okay? You can make this easier again by just putting one leg on the ground and lift up and down, okay? You can change it and do the other side. So there's always alternatives. So if you're thinking, I can't do that, okay? Change it about. What can you do, okay? It's not about what you can't do, it's what you can do. Okay, good, good. Keep it going. Oh, my tummy's shaking. That's a lovely, good. Three, two, one. Okay, so what I want you to do, is you're gonna grab those knees, give that back a nice little massage, one way, and a nice little massage the other. And we're still smiling, aren't we? course we are. That's what it's all about. Good. I want you to take one leg out. You're going to catch that opposite hand onto that knee and bring it across the body. You're going to try and keep those shoulders down as much as possible. Now, if you need to adjust it, adjust it. So good for the back. Okay, see it again. Do the other side. Opposite. Pulling it across. Oh, it is so nice. back needs that okay brilliant okay so the next one we're going to do is our bike okay so we're going to cycle our legs take an arm up again into that lovely little tabletop the back is into the ground so we're getting our alignment again head up or head down okay so if you're new to pilates i would advise just keep your head down okay so we're going to take i'm going to cycle okay add in that little point in the toes a nice sunny day outside I wish okay you can imagine okay cycling along breathing that's it now give me a little lift of the toes okay so your toes are slightly coming towards you want to think of those legs as if you're our little puppet so they're being pulled by you're being pulled by yourself nice pull one string, then the other. Okay, keep it going. Brilliant. Give me three, two, and a one. Okay, nice massage. Roll when you can, and then go the other way. Good. Okay, so the next one up is our crisscross. Now, crisscross is a little bit harder, but it's going to really hit those side muscles, okay? So, your alternative is to stay with the bike that you did at the start, okay? 
What we're going to do are crisscross. We're going to aim a shoulder towards our knee. Okay? Shoulder towards our knee. Now, where do we go? Now, I know the shoulder does not, will not get to the knee. Okay? If I say elbow to knee, that's where you'll get. Okay? And you'll do more damage on your back. You want to really squeeze and keep these slow. The hands are behind the head. They are just cradling the head. They're not pulling, okay? So stretch. So if you're thinking, okay, that's too much, just go back to a nice, simple cycling movement. Good, give me a lovely point. Brilliant. Three, two, one. Brilliant, okay. Bring the feet in, okay? And we're just gonna do a basic bridge. So our feet in, okay, in line, from a hand distance to our bum. Knees are all in line, hips in line. Palms down. I want that nice tilt, lifting up, and nice and slow going down. Okay, so it's a tilt, coming up and down. Okay, so you really want to tilt, then you lift and down. Okay, I do want you just to touch the ground. Okay, so the back shouldn't just be going up and down. It's a tilt and lift. Tilt and lift. Tilt and lift. You want to feel with one hand at the front and one hand at the back, you can feel that tilt that little bit more. Now, this might be a little strange, it takes a while to get that, okay, and to get that movement into the back. All I want you to do is you're gonna hold it here in that bridge in alignment, okay? So all lovely alignment. We're gonna hold it. Now think about the thighs, think about the glutes and the tummy as well. You're gonna breathe, lift it high, Nice and slow. Now we can progress this on and have on lots of different leg lifts and things like that. But today we're just going to start with here, with the normal sort of bridge. We just hold it, keep it going. Breathe. Breathe. Lovely. Okay. We're going to spin onto our sides. And we're just going to do our leg kicks. Now nice and long, lovely alignment. Hips are stacked on top of the hips. You can put the head down into that arm. Okay, if you feel more comfortable, you can be here. It's up to you. Or you can come up here. Nice and light. Now, simple. We're going to lift that leg up. Okay? Really simple. One, two, three. Good. Four, five. Control it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a 20. Okay. Now, there's so much more we can do with that. We can really spice it up. But that's what we're going to stay with today. We're going to switch it over to the other side. And we're going to do 20 again. Okay. Now, we're going to lift up. Get yourself comfortable, stack up so we're not way back here. Stack up, and I come down, put my hand down, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, brilliant. Now, all I want you to do is you're going to come over and come up into your square. Nice flat back, about a hand distance in between the knee, and your shoulders are all stacked up, okay? So, you ready? We're going to arch that back, so we get an arch, and then we're going to draw the tummy muscles up, and we're going to release. So, up and release. Up and release. If you can do nothing else, you can do this every day. Your back is gonna thank you for it. I'm gonna say that again. That's it. Up, lovely. Okay, so just get that spine mobility. Do your roll downs, and this arm is gonna help so much. Lovely. Okay. Okay. Now almost finished. We just do a little stretch. So what I want you to do is you're going to slide one foot forward, okay, so the knee is coming forward and that other knee is down, okay. Now, we're going to put our hand to the side, okay, sliding that leg back 
Now you go wherever you can. We're going to take that inside hand. I'm going to lift it up nice and high. Good. Rip down. Switch over. We'll do the other side. So lift it up high. Bring it up and down. Okay. We just want to go onto our toes into our downward dog. Pushing back into the heels. We're just going to do a little pedal. Good. Pedal up to feet. Now, nice and slow. Take the feet. Walk them up. If you need to bend the knees, bend the knees. Now, nice and slow. Take your time coming up. Watch that blood pressure coming up. Okay. Now, all I want you to do is a little twist and get the blood circulating around the body again. And that's us finished. So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, bring it in. Think about our breathing. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. One more. Good. You have done so well. Thank you for joining me. Uh, my name is Jill and I hope to see you all again very soon. Thank you. Nice.